So I know this sounds really arrogant, but a big reason why my wife and I work together and I think we're going to, to win in the long run, quote unquote, win in the long run, is because we work together as a team. And I know that often sort of doesn't fit for a lot of people and it doesn't jive for a lot of people. But I want you to sort of think about these activities that we define ourselves within. Right? We often view that there is some gender associated with it, that boys should do these particular tasks and, 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 and girls should do these particular tasks. And now, why is that? So many years ago, right? If you think about even just even, even a couple hundred years ago, it made absolute sense to divide up the tasks in terms of what we were doing as, as between boys and girls, right? There was a lot of work to be done. But in the last, I don't know, a couple of decades, that things have kind of merged together in terms of their tasks and what they're doing. We don't necessarily have to go out and um, work in the fields that much anymore. Some people do. Um, we don't have to do a lot of different things that we had to do. And so now we're faced with a decision of should we divide up these tasks and do different things? So my wife and I choose to work together as a team. For the most part, we, um, we, we do things that um, blend together, right? So if that means I've got to pick up the poop outside from the dog, I'll go do it. And actually, that's, I don't know why. It's a very enjoyable task for me. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's kind of like my time. Um, if if my, my wife has to go do it, she'll go do it. Um, if we need to fill up the gas in the car, then one of us will choose to do it. However, granted, um, often she'll let it go a lot longer than I will, and it drives me bananas. So sometimes I'll fill it up for her. All of that kind of stuff. We'll we'll split whether we're we're cooking one night or cleaning or vacuuming or whatever. We'll try to do those things as a team. Now we all have our different preferences and what we do, but you know if it needs to be done, we'll try to pick up and get it done. I just want to point out that we have these sort of arbitrary defined things that we think are are boys' tasks and girls' tasks, and even back in the day. Right. If you thought about it, there was no real reason why, um, you know, one gender had to do this thing and another gender had to do the other thing, other than that there was some, some to some degree for some moments of some time that I, that that people that we had to have those gender roles for, you know, biologically, you can't, um, you know, carry a little tiny baby around the fields. Um, for for that long, but you know you can right. Like there is a lot of people that do that kind of stuff. And what I'm getting at is, if you want to work together and get things done, and we're in a time right now where we have to do that, we should be pitching in together. And it doesn't matter who you are, what you're about. We should be pitching together as a team, because that's what it's going to take for you to figure out how to tackle the world. I want you to sort of view the world as, as not like you against um, somebody in your team, but view the world as your team against everybody else. The world is tough. There's a lot of people that sort of do not nice things to you. And you have to figure out how to deal with that. And for me, the way that, that I tend to think about this, and I don't know if my wife thinks about that the same way, maybe she does, hopefully we do. But, you know, I kind of view it as like it's us against the world and um, whatever it takes to sort of work together to get, accomplish those those particular things that are getting at you. And if it means me, um, if I had to dress up um, in any sort of particular way, if I had to wear pink every single day, if I had to, you know, dress up as a dress to tackle the world, I would do it. I don't care. Like, who cares? And ultimately, you're letting some arbitrary people outside of, of who you are dictate in your particular actions. And it doesn't matter, ultimately, at the end of the day. It really doesn't matter what happens. Because they're just arbitrary people. They have no... Um, they, they really don't dictate in terms of who you are as a person. 
So I'd encourage you to think about that. How do you get ahead? Well, you try to try to work together as a team. And if it means doing really weird and strange things, like if I had to, I don't know, I don't even know what is a weird and strange thing in, in my family anymore because we work together as a team. And if, if it's a boy thing, my wife does it. If it's a girl thing, I do it. It, it doesn't matter. It means that that's how you pitch in to accomplish things so that it all gets done. Ultimately, that's what you have to think about is there's work that, that needs to be done. Why not pitch in and get that done? Why figure that it's going to be this person's job or that person's job? I don't know. I just think that there is just a better way to do that. And it's just to pitch in so that everybody can chill out and relax whenever they want to. And I know that's kind of hard to deal with for a lot of people. But at the same time, hey, guess what? That's how we're going to accomplish things. That's how we're going to tackle the big bad world outside of our family. So I just want to point that out is there's arbitrary tasks that are defined as boys and girls kind of tasks. And it's strange, to be honest, if you think about it in this day and age, there's no reason for that because we all are doing many of the same things that everybody else is doing. And we just have to sit there and accomplish those particular things as a team. All right. Thank you so much for listening. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.